Robot maze, robot maze, robot maze! Uh, strong clue reading in the robot maze. Okay, so robot, robot maze first. Hmm, we're back at the maze again. See the box down there? It go for it! Just go for it! Oh no, it seems the command's <laughs> going in the right order. Okay, try putting the commands in a different order. Then oh, right, put them in a different order. Uh, 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 um, um, there. That's the good order. <laughs> Dang, the same yeah, thing happened. Oh, guy, he's either really brave or really stupid. Now you can arrange the commands in a different order and run the program again. Um, jump south, south three, south two, west, jump west, <laughs> west two, west two, jump west, west one, no, jump west, west one, yeah, that's it, right? Yes. Uh, 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 there we go. What are those um, areas of the dark circles? Quicksand, apparently. I like how we just jump for no apparent reason. <laughs> what else were you going to use that jump command for? Yeah, it's like there were any hits I need to avoid. Yay! Nice. Oh Bob. god, my brain! In the palm of your hand the whole time. No wonder he's so That's stupid. Just flying his brains every time he succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing there aren't any delicate, um, you know, ma magnetic parts up there that will be moved around. We need to check out. I'm picking up a so, blue yep. biosphere the or in the kitchen. Biosphere. Uh, biosphere. My sensors tell me that Paul. I want to click the red button. All green. Hey, that's cool. I'm over there. Hey, you, you prick! You hit the red button. Now we can navigate that's my the button. Around the biosphere by watching it on this monitor. Click on the monitor. For oh yeah, is this the one where you play Lunar Lander? Yes. Ooh. This is the one where we play Lunar Lander. In fact, that's what I did the first time I, uh, we played this with Kyra. I was like, hey, Kyra, this is just like Lunar Lander. And then I proceeded to do this. And I said, hey, it's like Lunar Lander. I never said I was good at it. It's Lunar Lander with quiz questions. Welcome to my world. Now get to work. Which animal lives part of the day underwater? A limpet, an elf owl, or a dolphin? The sad thing uh, is... An uh, elf owl. The funny thing is, is that if we get this wrong, we've only got one shot. Then a dolphin. Part of its life underwater? Part of the day underwater? Oh. Well, then. A dolphin. Big deal, you got one right. <laughs> we've only got one shot. We can't mess up with this one. Well, I guess I'll live it. Look, it's a yellow-bellied bottom feeder. Oh, it's only you, Rotley. Which of the following is microscopic in size? Bat bow 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 tree. Bow bow tree. Or plankton. Bow 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 tree. That's the answer. I like your answer better. You two are birds of a feather. Both of you are stuck in the airlock. What kind of animal can migrate from the North Pole to the South Pole and back again? Bear. 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 Well, I think the answer is either birds or bees. Which one do you think it is? I knew you'd get that one. I know you must be getting hungry, so we'll get this over with quickly. An animal that eats other animals is called what? An omnivore, a, a carnivore, or an herbivore? An an the question? An animal that eats other animals is a cannibal. A cannibal. Uh, oh, uh, an omnivore? It's a cannibal vore. An animal that eats other animals would be a not herbivore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going out of control. Whoa, whoa. I'm having angel problems, dude. This species of question could easily fit in the empty space located between Botley's ears. Which of these eats animals? An antelope, an acacia tree, a sea anemone. An acacia tree. Okay, this time try giving me the right answer. <laughs> um, antelope? Just a lucky guess. Okay, so, this is obviously talking about the desert, right? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so land head first. I got to land this. The oh, I got to land it. No, no, no. Okay, almost got it. Wait. Just, you got it. Wait. No. Okay. Wait. Okay. To the to the a little to the left. And no, 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 my left. And then, wait, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he almost got it. Wait. Just a little, just a little more. Wait. Oh, 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 wait. Wait. Just, just move, move. No, 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 no. See. Oh, some smooth landing. Okay, see. What? That was some smooth landing? That is gonna be so <laughs> raw. <laughs> oh, oh, so should we use one of our two keys to open this thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Nope. Dang, it's not the desert. I wonder if it's in the rainforest. Parasite finder locates a vine that grows around a tall tree in the Sonar indicates. Feeds the tree nutrients and water. Also provides a foundation that supports the tree's weight. These are the roots. Roots, good to know. Now to drop some more anal probes. Here in the savannah. Micro spotter C, the smallest kind of antelope on the savannah. No bigger than a dog. This is a pygmy antelope. Pygmy antelopes, huh? Interesting. Yes. Wait, are you just are you shatting on the land? No yes. way. For once. The grass is dried out on the savanna, and the animals are dying of thirst. This is a drought. Drought. Cool. You'd think drought would be in desert. Liquidizer on. Keep going. Animal can only eat liquid food. It doesn't have jaws for chewing. It sucks juice out of smaller animals. This is a spider. Spider. They live in mountains. Spider, they live in mountains and just about anywhere else. Silvery flying insect that lives at high elevation. Named after a Greek god that lived atop Mount Olympus. This is an Apollo butterfly. I wonder which god it was named after. Scuba locator on. Underwater animal that looks like a flower. Catches muscles and other small creatures in its tank. Okay, you better make a smooth landing here. Eating them. This no. Is a sea I, I need to make sure that this is the place by dropping more probes to make sure that all the hints are there. Prawn? I always thought that prawn was actually no. I don't think we should talk about this this part. Micro analyzer readout. <laughs> oh, this is your last probe. Geologistics. Dang, we don't know for sure. Organism clinging to some rock. Oh well. Lives along the seashore in the splash zone that dries out during low tide. This is a limpet. All the probes are hey, take a smooth landing. Smooth landing. Just, just, now, just a little to the left. And then, uh, wait. Uh, okay, you almost got it. Yeah, just, just carefully land. And land it. Okay, there you got it, you got it, you got it, you're good, you're, wait. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're, you're good, you're good. You're good, you got it, you're good, you got it, you got it, you're good, you're good. One to the left. No, oh, my left. No, okay. oh, back down. To the right. You almost got it. Just Touchdown! There. Yeah. You landed safely. Now, if you want to open this box, click on a key on the console. Well, I suppose. But, but we only have one left. We have to make. We have to be absolutely sure, certain that it is the ocean before we use this last Do key. Do it. Do it now. Okay, fine. Great. You got yes, it. we found the octopus. There are no mission clues on this. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Is it too much to ask for people to leave the doors unlocked around here? Actually, yes, it is. Well, we can figure out the combination again. <laughs> yes, how did he lock it from the inside? Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm growing weak with hunger. Why did you lock the door? Oh, oh, I know what the answer is. 52. What? See, I told you the answer, the answer was 52. Two more to go. 
Oh cool, let me see if I need an attack. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yes! This is the best, this is the easiest quiz ever. Alright, you got two locks. Just one more. Okay, I got, I've got the last one. Twenty-nine! Nope, uh, I don't think that number's oh. right. Try again. I fail. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Good job! You did it! I knew Polly couldn't keep us out. We're in the kitchen again. Chow time! Okay, so he needs pure pureed re, pure, uh, pureed peas, carrot juice, chopped liver, and salt. Lots and lots and lots Lots of salt. It's lots. 